disgusting what can happen to the human body. <laughs> Can't imagine him at 20 getting a flapper worked up. <laughs> I don't think he was ever 20. Though he's got his Swede down somewhere, might as well be dead. Take a supersonic bang to get through the dirt now. <laughs> Come on. Who's having a call? What do you want to do a thing like that for? What's the matter with you? I'm tired. That is what is the matter with me. I'm exhausted. Do you know what time I got up this morning? No, of course you don't. You were still stewing in your dirty little pit, scratching yourself. <laughs> Six o'clock. That's when I started. It is now seven o'clock. That is 13 hours. What is the matter with me? I'm shagged out. <laughs> Nobody asked you to go out at six o'clock? You can't totter that out of the morning. Nobody's up. I know nobody is up, but in order to commence totting at the most propitious moment, there are certain preparations one must make. Yeah, like what? Like going down to the farriers and having four new boots nailed on the Arab stallion we got leaning up against the wall. <laughs> Your shoes already? Yes, already. Why well, he couldn't raise a spark out of him yesterday. He's practically down to his hooves on the back. I know that an horse that can wear his shoes out as fast as that one. Old shuffler. <laughs> He's got to have new shoes. He can't walk round the street with no shoes on. He'd wear holes in his hoof. Well, they should last him longer than they do. And they would last him longer if he was to pick up his feet now and again. Yeah, that's your fault. You don't know how to drive him properly. You are, without doubt, the most tight-fisted old git I have ever come across. <laughs> Denying an also proper set of boots. Not only his boots, it's everything. We're not paying our way, we're losing money. But we're going to lose some more, cos I'm going back to eating in the calf. <laughs> Harold? We have to economise. I'm not going about my midday meal. You get a good dinner when you come home. No, I need one during the day as well. I'm a big fella, Dad. I ain't got sparrows guts like you have. I always cook. I always make you sandwiches to take out with you. Sandwiches? Yeah. Look. Go on. Look. He ain't touched them. I can't get my teeth through them. <laughs> How old is this bread? Go on. How old? Feel it. Feel it. Look, mate, if you want to economise, don't give them to me. Nail them on his feet! <laughs> this. What was this supposed to be? Tea. Tea? For the monkeys to advertise it could make better tea than that. <laughs> It's all right, I'll put it in. You can't expect it to taste the same after being Look, in there. Don't all try to out. explain. Just give me my dinner money in future. Oh, come on, give us a hand down with this. Oh, I'll go to bed. Oh, this ain't going to alter our standard of living, is it? Give me the day of now 13 hours for that. Look, Dad, don't provoke me. That's a good boy. I'm not in a good mood. I might do something I'd get hung for. Well, all I say is we need good stuff, not rubbish like this. I can only buy what they wish to sell me. You have to induce them to sell stuff. What do you expect me to do? Give them green shield stamps? <laughs> oh, I mean, we have to do something. What good's this? Have you been down here? No, I haven't. Uh, uh, what? What have you got? Half a dollar. Half each. Let's see. <laughs> Matchbox. Pencil. Air grip. Ooh, a licorice all sort. <laughs> so, you aren't revolting. Frank's <laughs> all right. Frank's all right. No moss, no wood one. Yeah, we ought to get 30 bob for this if we're lucky. How much do you give for it? Two quid. <laughs> you great useless lump. You're not worth two pennies of cold cocoa, are you? That's why we're losing money at you. You're no idea, are you? Well, it was an old deal, wasn't it? I mean, she needed the money. All she got is her pension. 
I mean, I couldn't help it. She's selling off all she's got, the poor old devil. I bought these off her as well, these lasters. How much do you do for those? I might do out of business. But don't worry, Mike. You have to pay for them. They'll come out of your pocket. You're dead right, they will. I have to work hard for my living. You mean I have to work hard for your living? You ain't done a stroke since you dragged me out of school. I work here. I do the office work. Tidy up the yard. You do the easy bit. Riding round London all day, sightseeing. That ain't hard work. Look, chum, any time you wants to change over, you just let me know, hey, hey, hey? Might not be a bad idea at that. You look like a big bundle of rag and bones. Be a good advert. Yeah, I couldn't do any worse than you, do that, damn it. I mean, look at it. Straight out of the ark. What did you expect? Something out of the electricity board showrooms? A nice three kilowatt thermos, technically controlled fan eater, perhaps, eh? Or a six hot plate fold away, eye level grill, gas cooker. We are junk collectors, Dad. You haven't brought anything worth talking about down for a fortnight. We're living on our savings. We can't go on like this. <laughs> oh, I just remembered. Yesterday I had the chance of a nice gas stove. It was about this big. But I'll go and get it tomorrow. And we can both put our heads inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why not? For a mere 12 copper coins at the realm, we can be up there, a million miles away, above it all. Where can you go on a journey like that for a bob? A permanent holiday. Oh, come on, let's do it. I'll go and get the gas stove. You get some sacks, put them under all the doors and fill in all the cracks. Oh, to die. To sleep. To sleep, perchance to dream. <laughs> Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Uh, who are you? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Please carry on. Yes. What do you want? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm looking for Mr. Steptoe. I'm Mr. Steptoe. So am I. I'm the senior one. He's oh, only me son. Yes, yes. Well, it's like this, you see. You've got on your boards out there your scrap metal merchants. Yeah, that's what. If we can get any. Yes. Well, I've got some. Under here. Lead. Lead, eh? Yes. Sheet lead. Two hundred weight. Two hundred weight? Yes. Would you be interested in buying it? No, no. Well, no, look, no. now you have come at a bad time for lead. You see, they're just in the call for it at the moment. If it had been brass, oh, well, yes, that would have been a different time. Oh, did he say lead? Yes, yes lead. Oh, if it had been brass. <laughs> Going to market for, do you know anybody who wants any lead? No, not these days. I'm sorry, I haven't got any brass. Well, you see, there's no market for lead at the moment, is there, Dave? No, none at all. You see, there is a world glut in lead at the moment. You may have read the Financial Times this morning. I mean, all the big building firms is turning over to plastic. Oh, so. I see, yeah, yeah. So you're not interested in buying it, then? Oh, right? well, now, that depends. Uh, what are you offering for it? Well, I was thinking of asking something like uh, 10 pounds a ton. How much? 10 pounds a ton. Would you excuse me a moment while I go and discuss this with my father? <laughs> Did you hear that? Ten pounds a ton? It's fetching fifty pounds a ton on the market this oh, morning. What's he selling it for ten pounds a ton for then? Perhaps he don't know. Of course he knows. He's all up on the board outside. I don't like the look of him. I don't suppose he likes the look of us either. That's beside the point, isn't it? We stand to make forty quid a ton. He's only got two hundred weight. Hang on. Can uh, you get out of any more? I thought you said you weren't interested. Ah, yes, well, but you see, we stand a better chance of flogging a lot rather than a little. Ah. That is the state of the market. Oh, I see, yes, yes. Well, I could probably scrape together a ton altogether. A ton? A give hundred weight, take hundred weight. Hang on. <laughs> you can get out of a ton. He's nicked it. He hasn't. Of course he's nicked it. Yeah, ask him. Oh, this is going to tell us, isn't he? Ask him. Look, uh, anything the matter? Oh no, 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 nothing, nothing the matter. No, no, it, it's just that it's, it's my dad. He's a bit worried, you see. 
Well, it's not me. It must know where you've got it from. As I say, yes, it's quite right, quite right. Yes. Well, it's very simple, you see. I'm a church man, you see. Oh? Yes. No, 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 church goer, chapel, you understand, yes. Well, this chapel where I attend, they're pulling it down. They're building a supermarket there, bingo wall, I don't know. Anyway, the minister, great friend of mine, he says, you, he says, you, that's me, you boy, he says, you are the lead boy, he says. You've been coming here longer than the others, he says. I think you're entitled to it. So here I am, with it. So that's so legitimate, then? Oh, yes. Yes, I could have had the pews, but I said, no, no, let Mrs. Cruellin have the pews. <laughs> right there. I mean, pews is fetching nothing these days. Hang on. The vicar told him he could have it there, pulling down the church. Yeah, well, he's had to, yeah. Well, why not? He's been going longer than the others. He's nicked him. He hasn't oh, nicked him. I don't like it, Harold. Look, you was moaning just now about how hard up we are. We stand to make 40 nick of a ton. You won't moan about that, will you? Ah, but we've never dealt in nick stuff before. We're an honest firm. Always have been. Yeah, I know where it's got us. Have you decided? Uh, no, no. It's very gold over here, you see. Yes. Yeah, I can take it somewhere else if you don't want it. No, hang on, hang on a minute. Look, I'm going to have it. Give us a quid. Now, don't let's be hasty, Harold. No, Dad, there comes a moment when you have got to make decisions. You see, that's the way big business is done on the spur at the moment. The right decision taken at the right time. Give us a quid. It's nothing to do with me if there's trouble. I didn't buy it. Well, give us a quid. It's me last one, Harold. I don't care. Give He's us it. He's nicky. We don't know that, do we? We bought it in good faith. Now give us it. <laughs> What's the matter? Well, me pocket. Oh, go. <laughs> Here, let me get that. So keep you a moment. <laughs> well, don't follow me on that. Well, <laughs> You've got him, you know. <clears throat> we'll take it. Two hundred weight of ten quid a ton, that is uh, one quid. Uh, one pound, yes, that's correct. Right, where do you want it? Over there. Right. Bring the rest round tomorrow. Right. Right. Good night, sir. No star. Oh, no star. Yes, uh, the saucepan back and all that. <laughs> you see, that's the way to do business. Right in, no messing about. We pulled up a nice little deal there. Two last we're going to make over 500% profit. We haven't even had to go outside for it. Let's hope we don't have to go inside for it. <laughs> That's a lot. You definitely can't get hold of any more. No, no, stripped it bare, I have. Yes, well, that'll be another nine pounds, I believe. Oh, yes, yes. I ain't got any. <laughs> you got your old age pension this morning. Four weeks worth. You're not having my pension money. You won't have it either if I tell them you're still working. You wouldn't, Harold. <laughs> no, Nicker, come on. Right, thank you, thank you very much indeed. Right. Oh, there's our card. Step yes. to and son. We buy and sell. Pleasure anything. to do business with you. Object darks, yes. woolen rags, semi-precious stones, quality silver, early English paintings, watercolours. No. No, I don't think you'll be seeing me round here again. No? No. No, we missionaries don't stay in one district very long, you understand? <laughs> oh, yes. yes, I suppose it does keep you on the go. Right? Oh, yes, it does. One must go where the need is greatest. Quite. Well, cheerio, then. Cheerio. If you ever feel in need of a bit of peace and comfort, we've still one or two chapels left in this area. 
you'll be made very welcome. <laughs> right. I shall call in some, Tom. Peace be with you, brothers. And you. Who are you closing the gate for? Because I don't want anybody to see that lead. Oh, God. Aren't you an old worry, Guts? He told us what he got it for. Look, mate, I haven't just fallen off a Christmas tree. You're so gullible, ain't you? Anybody could take you in. A right neddy you are at times. He's on the twist. You always believe the worst of people, don't you, eh? Just cos he's not impeccable, he's condemned in your eyes. I mean, if I ain't all dressed like the Duke of Windsor, you don't want to know, do you? <laughs> Listen, blokes like him don't spend their money on themselves. They gives it all away. I happen to believe in him. Yeah, believe in him. I'm here to tell you that lead's been nicked. A man of God does not go round nicking lead. You wouldn't recognise an honest man if you saw him, would you? Evil be who evil thinks. I mark my words. You'll have a couple of Z cars along here soon. <laughs> have you any idea what you get for receiving? Three to six months. In the scrubs. I'm knocking 66. I can't do in porridge at my age. There. Nobody's going to start doing porridge. Now stop worrying. Eighty-five years this firm's been established and in all that time not one piece of sus junk's ever been found in that yard. Until now. You've dragged that stepton name right down, haven't you? Common criminals, that's what we are now. Oh, shut up. I got medals in that drawer in there. <laughs> Good conduct medals. Honourable discharge. Not a stain on me character. And look at me now. I feel cheap and unclean. <laughs> oh, you poor old man. Unclean. 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 Keep away. You're not unclean. You're filthy. <laughs> We've got lead in the yard. We're entitled to have it, aren't we? I, I mean, I mean, ain't going to prove it's been knocked off. It ain't got any little marks on it to distinguish it or anything. And do you think they're going to get worried about a little bit of lead, eh? Do you think that's all they got time to do? Go wandering around the junkyard looking for knocked off lead, quite make up my mind but to take it down to the depot now or tomorrow. Fifty quid. <laughs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's in the... Oh, there! <laughs> oh, cool. We'll be sure. I'm all. Oh, don't panic. Shut up and keep quiet. <laughs> He's going to find it. We've had it. Shut up. He's coming over. Shut up and don't make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> The usual thing is the police list. What's that one saying? 
Lead. I told you. It's a warning, but there's lead thieves knocking about the district. I told you. I said it was on. I can't what I'm going to do. That copper might come back. Get rid of it. Yeah, but where? How do I know? Sell it. Sell it? We can't sell it. I want to know where it's come from. Well, we'll have to ditch it then. Where? Anywhere. Just let's get it out of our yard. Come on. <laughs> Oh, Thank God we got rid of that lead, Harold. Never again. No more mixed stuff ever again. Hello. What's this one? Oh, God. There's blood and wine in here. Well, don't just stand there. I can't get a look for something. Some of the lights over here look so cute. What happened? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> well? Oh. Now we know where we got the lead from. <laughs> where? Off our bleeding roof. <laughs> you great pillock! Burn our own lead! And all with my pension money! A man of gold! You great pillock! that can wear his shoes out as fast as that one. Old Shuffler. <laughs> He's got to have new shoes. He can't walk round the street with no shoes on. He'd wear holes in his own. Well, they should last him longer than they do. They would last him longer if he was to pick up his feet now and again. Yeah, that's your fault. You don't know how to drive him properly. You are, without doubt, the most tight-fisted old git I have ever come across. <laughs> Denying an also proper set of boots. Not only his boots, it's everything. We're not paying our way, we're losing money. Well, we're going to lose some more, because I'm going back to eating in the cash. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Eardrum! Why can't we? I can't hear. I've gone to your pepperoni me eardrum. I can't hear. I don't know, it's all wet. It'd take a supersonic bang to get through the dirt in there. Come on. 
Yeah. I'm tired, that is what is the matter with me. I'm exhausted. Do you know what time I got up this morning? No, of course you don't. You were still stewing in your dirty little pit, scratching yourself. <laughs> Six o'clock, that's when I started. It is now seven o'clock. That is... Oh, God. Isn't it disgusting what can happen to the human body? <laughs> Can't imagine him at twenty getting a flapper worked up. <laughs> I don't think he was ever twenty. Though he's got his swede down somewhere. Might as well be dead. <laughs> Thirteen hours. What is the matter with me? I'm shagged out. Nobody <laughs> asked you to go out at six o'clock? You can't totter that out of the morning. Nobody's up. I know nobody is up, but in order to commence totting at the most propitious moment, there are certain preparations one must make. Yeah, like what? Like going down to the farriers and having four new boots nailed on the Arab stallion we got leaning up against the wall. <laughs> new shoes already? Yes. Already? Why, well, he couldn't raise a spark out of him yesterday. He's practically down to his hooves on the back.